There were so many cool announcements at this year's WWDC 23. And one of the big ones obviously was Vision Pro. But to be honest, it's my least impactful announcement for the entire event. Now, let me tell you why. Vision Pro is Apple's new device for spatial computing. And that brings to us a new platform, Vision OS, for developers like us to build apps on. It's a cool technology, but at $3,500 US, only rich new adopters are going to have one. And I'm a practical guy. I'm not going to be spending my time and effort into building apps for a limited group of people on a fledgling new platform. But that's just me. If you've already been knee deep into AR kit, reality kit, and you've been honing your skills in 3D, this is a huge opportunity for you to be first to market with a cool new app for this vision platform OS. And think about the early days of the iPhone when it was just released. Some of the most popular apps for the iPhone was also some of the most useless ones. That's why vision OS is one of the least impactful ones for me. Next up, Swift macros. Swift macros help you code faster by letting you annotate your code for common patterns in coding instead of typing the whole thing out. And the other cool thing is that you can create your own macros and share them with other developers through Swift packages. Now this is one improvement that is going to make your life better every single day, no matter what Apple platform you're developing on. And I think that is awesome. However, one downside that I can see is that this is going to make reading Swift code even more cryptic for beginners who are learning for the first time because now there is code that's hidden behind macros and if they don't know that, it's not really gonna make sense to them. Next, I wanna talk about Swift data. Now, Swift data is the new core data following the easy to use Swift UI principles. Now, this is great news for people who are building apps that need local data persistence, but let's be honest, not every single app you build is going to need local data persistence to this level. Perhaps app storage is enough for what your app is trying to do. And that's why Swift data is only impactful if you are building an app that can utilize it. But this next announcement is impactful for every single app developer. Improved Swift UI animations. Now, why are animations such a big deal? Because it improves the perceived quality of your app as long as it's done in a thoughtful way. And then these days when competition is so high, your app needs to look good and feel good if you want your users to continue to launch it and use it. That's why I love that they're giving us more control over animations through keyframing and animation phases. And they're also making them easier for us to use through the spring modifier and animated SF symbols. Any app will benefit from this improvement. And that's why it is my second top impactful announcement of WWDC. Now this next one is I think the most impactful announcement made, widget interactivity and transitions. In the last WWDC, I noticed that one of the biggest themes was how your app lives outside of your app through glanceable widgets on the lock screen and app intents. This year, that is even more true with widget interactivity. Most apps can benefit from a widget because it allows the user another way to rediscover your app. Now, with interactive widgets, you might be able to include the core functionality of your app through a widget. Because of this, we actually might see a change in user behavior in iOS 17 and beyond. Widgets may become the preferred way to interact with apps, and maybe launching apps will feel old, clunky, and archaic. So definitely see if interactive widgets is something that makes sense for your app. Now, please drop me a comment below and let me know what your favorite announcement is. Also, let me know if you agree or disagree with my rankings. Lastly, if you're looking to join CWC+, we're running a WWDC sale over at codewithchris.com. I'll be diving deeper into all these topics in the coming week. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.